Praise the name of the living God. I salute you. Trust you well. I just want quickly want to share a few things and the Lord will bless you. Number one, I want to talk about factors about if satanic cultures. And number two, I will talk how to know you are under satanic culture. I'll make it brief under 10 minutes and God will bless you. My name is Bishop Gabriel Wisdom of Shiloh Worship Ministry and God will bless you. I'm the writer of this book and it has helped a lot of people. Breaking Evil Family Altars. You can get it by conducting me. I'm going to put my number there. So number one, <clears throat> satanic altars are very hard to break. That's why many people, they have done a lot of offerings and nothing has happened. It's because they have not understood what they are dealing with. The hardness of breaking altars is that uh, two major things must capture to break a family altar. Number one, to know what I'm dealing with. Number two, the sin that strengthens the altar. Number three, the rank of the altar or the rep level of the altar is. Number four, whoever is come, I'm going to get to break the altar must be in rank above the level the altar is. Number two, uh, an altar, it can affect personal for lifetime. Madabawi yanaweza thuru maisha mtu maisha yake yote. So there are people that have prayed and done a lot of things, but they have never settled with the altar. Let me give you a strange story. One day, Apostle William Kimani demon manifested in him many years ago in church when his church was doing well. And it's the members of the church who pray for him for deliverance. Dealing with altars is not his thing. Number three, it has power to control and manipulate people the way they want. That's why some people, they are not in a position or in order in charge over their life. Many people call them foolish. Others say they are so stupid. They have all the opportunity. They don't, they don't have power to control their life. That's why some people are in alcohol. Others in extramarital sexual immorality. Others are doing weird things and they are not able to control. You think they are bad, you have told them they are not changed. It's not that they are bad. They don't have power because they are being controlled by an altar. Number four, satanic altars can establish generational curses. These altars, they make sure they temper with the way of life that one has to do things that will cause him to be under a curse, which will translate to generational, generational curses. Number five, it gives demon access to one's foundation. This outers allows demon to have a, a capability and a capacity to find orchestration and expression in the life of a person. Number six, it is a gateway to satanic attacks. People under demonic, people under evil outers, they have all kind of strange attacks. I'm going to share one of these findings, my story here, and you'll be shocked. We were born again family and we were suffering in poverty like rats. Until one day I prayed and God showed me the pathway to change our family. And I, called my, I talked with my father and we invited a servant of God who came and prayed for us. And for that day, our lives, the family and our lives have never been the same again. Glory to Yahweh for giving us revelation to deal with these altars. So the, the altars become a gateway. Number seven, it can restrict family or a person from getting their breakthrough. I am at the to That's where some people they have never experienced breakthrough. They are educated and they have degrees. Others get businesses, but they experience unbearable setbacks. It's because of altars. Number eight, satanic altars is an antiquator of witches and wizards. By these altars, witches are able to find expression out. I, when, many people who have satanic altars, they have strange dreams with their dead relatives. It's because the witches and wizards use their image of the dead relative and the spirit of the dead relatives to come into their life and find expression. That is why you must deal with it. Follow me on this page. Follow me on this type. I'm going to be calling part one. I'll have part two. I'll have part three. All like that. When you listen all the parts, then you can take an, a step. Many preachers who preach about altars, they're after the offering. They are not after your freedom and your deliverance. That's where maybe you are here and you are saying, this pastor is teaching about us. Altars. I've done all what he say. Is because you are not keen in what you're doing. Before we experience deliverance, my family had given a lot of sacrifices. And I remember one day I caught myself, what you're doing is nonsense. The person you are giving sacrifice does not have capacity and audacity to do this demon. He has not an outer equal to the capacity that was raised 
So if we need a man who has sacrificed a lot, that's where some people, they have men of God have laid a strength sacrifice. And that's where they have our, our power and authority in the realm of the spirit. So it, uh, spiritual altars become the airport for which is number nine. It is a place where they access the destiny of a man. Madabaoni mali ambapo nguvu zangiza zinapata access to your destiny and the temple. The number 10, it is a place of evil operation. Madabao yangiza ni mali ambapo biashara, evil transaction take place. We are destiny stars are sold and nobody who was supposed to be great. Whenever I pray for a child on Sunday. And, and when I was casting out the demon, the demons were saying that the child is supposed to become a pastor. And they arrested the death because they noticed he has a star of a pastor. You see so many pastors are there. Wakimbia nguo. Wakimbia nguo kuimbia vitu sana. Motura mbao, motura mbao, motura mbao, motura msini. Dawa ya panya, dawa ya mende. Dawa ya panya, dawa ya mende. Kunguni. They have very good voices, but they are destined because their destiny were transacted, they were sold. Number 11, it is a stronghold that accommodates people, names, properties for manipulation. This includes names, shoes, pictures, clothes. It's a place where these things have been taken. Kunawatu, there are people, their names is engraved in a witch doctor's place. There are people where their shoes, their clothes, their money has been deposited. In an evil altar's place, and their life is being controlled from there. Now, last one, not another list. It is a place of exchange where blood is shed in exchange of something. That's where Calvary remains our strongest altar. That's where church remains our strongest altar as believers. That is why when you go to which doctor, you must ask for some things to kill, to lay sacrifice. I'm going to give you part two how to know you are under satanic outers but this is facts about outers god bless you i want to pray for you father i pray for my viewers may you give them wisdom father i pray for my viewers may you give them understanding may the spirit of revelation help them even after listening to this video and may their life be changed if you want me to reach you want to reach to me you can reach to me my number is 0723 Seven four four seven six five. I'm going to write it on this video, and God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.